in this pot I have a whole bunch of veggies that I've been saving in a Ziploc in my freezer. I've got the ends of like the onions that were cut off, bell peppers that were cut, that were kind of dry, some random mushrooms, some green onions that were all, you know, kind of wilty and whatever. Everything in here otherwise probably would have been tossed out. Broth, and then I'm going to use that for a soup. I've got a, um, a couple of ribs that I made the other night that I need to use up so I'm going to put um, some of that meat in there and I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do here in a minute. So in here I have a little bit of baking grease and some butter. I'm just warming that up, getting that hot. And in here I'm going to put, there is carrot, celery, onion, some garlic. This is all fresh stuff but it was wilty in the fridge. The onion was a little bit dry, the celery and the carrots were a little wilty, and the garlic I just needed to use up. So I'm going to put this in there, get that browning, well not necessarily browning, but getting it all to where it's kind of translucent. Alright, now I'm going to, hold on here, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm going to season this up a little. This is what I'm seasoning it with. It's, I made it myself, but it's um, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And it smells heavenly. So I'm going to let that uh, cook a little bit to where everything is a little soft. So I added a little bit of butter in here. And then I'm going to add some flour and let that flour cook down a little bit. Hold on here. Some flour. You want to, when you put the flour in there, you want to make sure you cook it down a little bit to just get the flour taste out of it. So we'll look, let that cook for a couple of minutes. I think I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Not a lot. I don't think I had enough butter, but... Alright, we're going to let that cook. This is what this is looking like. That flour cooked down great. So now I'm going to add our broth that we made. If I can do this one handed. You guys look at this broth. Look at how rich that is. I'm going to pour this in. I don't know if you saw that, but all that stuff at the bottom. Oh, yum. So there's our broth. I'm putting in, these are the ribs I told you the other night. I just cut them down. I'm going to put those in. And this is the only thing in this that was like new, fresh, you know, didn't need to be used up, whatever. Just three little potatoes. I'm going to season it a little bit more. That might look like a lot. We're salt people and pepper people. So there's that. So I'm going to let this cook and it's going to thicken up. The potatoes are going to cook. That pork is going to just kind of dissolve in there a little bit with the fat and everything. Oh, it's going to be amazing. This thickened up really nicely. The potatoes started breaking down. That flour in there did its job. Now we will put it in a bowl. Oh my gosh, I wish you had smell-o-vision. This smells amazing. So 
So here it is in a bowl with a piece of buttered toast that's very, very sourdoughy. Oh man. And all of this, that whole pot of stuff that would have possibly been tossed out. And just reimagine it a little bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you try it. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.